Hello Stampers, I'm Kelly Atchison at stampabove.com coming to you live from Manasha, Wisconsin. I hope you guys have had a great Monday. I have had a very busy Monday. <laughs> I'm going to wait for a few of you to pop in here. Give me just a second to, I'm going to get you up on my iPad so that when I turn this camera around I can see what's going on. Okay, here we go. I'm still a little mystified by the iPad, but I am getting better, so there's hope for me, people. I don't know why I'm having so much trouble with the iPad. Probably because, honestly, I just never use it. And that was my Facebook Live from last night, and I am not finding my Facebook Live from tonight, so hang on. That's the one we're here. Hi, Bonnie. Hi, Karen. Welcome. Okay, here we go. It's not, it's not. Oh, there it is. Ah, I got it. And I got my comments up. So hang tight while I plug this back in. I don't want it to disappear on me. It did last night and I had to reboot it. Okay, Whew, I think we're good. So Monday started off with a kick. Uh, Dina Barb and I had a little uh, Zoom conference this morning. We do that when we have some things to work out. And... I'm super excited to tell you guys that 2021 brings together a whole new collaboration with me and my two besties. So as you know, Dina from Bettendorf, Iowa and Barb from Sheridan, Wyoming, we work together. We are all Stampin' Up! demonstrators and we became best friends years ago when we used to be able to go to something called Founder Circle, which was a retreat for the top 100 demonstrators in the country that Stampin' Up! treated us to. We earned it. And um, they would send us to St. George, Utah for, I believe, five days of pampering and just really um, getting to know our fellow demonstrators. And it was just such a powerful gathering because you have uh, the top 100 business-minded people in the country for your company and we were all sharing ideas and you know getting to know each other and bouncing things off and telling people well this didn't work for me and then they'd say well you might want to try this and um, so it was just a really powerful gathering and we uh, became best friends we just connected and um, that's one of the fun things about stamping like I I have met the most amazing people you guys um, through stamping through my love of paper crafts so Barb, Dina, and I are going to start a new collaboration. It's going to be a subscription, and we are going to bring all three of us together to provide you with a ton of content. And um, let's see, I wrote down some notes today, but I don't know for sure what I did them. I'm going to have all the final details up probably tomorrow. We're working, at, working on the marketing tonight. Um, meaning all the details. The marketing is all the details where we spell out exactly what's included. And for a monthly fee, you are going to get access to all kinds of amazing stamping from all three of us. Um, we are also going to incorporate uh, three Facebook Live classes each month. And that's going to be so much fun. Like, I'm so excited about that. Um, there's going to be mystery stamping. And it's all going to be for a flat fee every month. So, details to come. And uh, um, I will be filling you in more on that tomorrow. Now, we have some exciting things happening tomorrow. Tomorrow starts celebration and also our spring mini catalog goes live. So, I have had a lot of you contacting me today to tell me that you did not get your mini catalogs. And I understand the mail has been horrific with the whole COVID thing, right? So if you still do not have these, please contact me and I will be dropping them in the mail. I know that I can call Stampin' Up! because I have them sent to everybody who has ordered with me in the last year. And I can't remember what, I think it was $50. If you ordered $50 from me in the last 12 months, I sent both of these to you. But if you don't, if you didn't get them yet, you're going to need them. Now... What's going to happen if you don't have these mini, mini catalogs and everything goes live tomorrow? Don't worry. I will have links on my blog to the online catalog. So you'll be able to go on your device and you'll be able to page through this and see all the goodies. So 
We're going to be talking about celebration tonight and I'm going to show you everything that's involved in celebration and I also have two really cute cards to share with you. I'm going to be using the True Love Designer Series paper which is the black and white paper that's in the Spring Mini catalog. I'm excited because there's so many neat things you could do with black and white paper. And I'm also going to incorporate one of our celebration stamp sets for a really cool, simple, very simple layout, but it's got kind of a little twist to it that I think is pretty neat. So I'm excited to share that with you. I was trying to finalize my little details. My day didn't go as planned today. So number one, I had the conference with Dina and Barb this morning and that took a while. And then uh, my helper showed up and I really couldn't dedicate the time that I needed to her. And um, then as I was trying to get stuff done, what else was I doing today? Oh, I had to finalize my Facebook Live blog post from last night because YouTube changed things. It's a constant chronic problem with technology, right? YouTube changed things and now I can't upload the way I used to from my movie maker or my iMovie software and blah, blah, blah. It's just a lot of blah, blah, blah. But, um, so it takes a little bit longer to figure out. So that took me a little bit longer. And you guys, if you watched last night, I had such a like lost this and lost that and, and my video quit on me and I had to start over. So when I got done with with my Facebook Live last night, I went to bed. I'm like, I've had it. <laughs> and you know, the um, we made these cutie patootie little treat holders last night. If you happen to miss that, these are stinking adorable, okay? Little gift card holder and also a little treat on the side. These were stinking cute and very fun to make. But what happened is I lost my window sheet piece while I was making this. And I was like, oh my Lord. I thought I had some more here, but it was empty, and my other window sheets are downstairs in my old office, and I was like in a panic, and we may do. We used the cellophane off of our designer series paper to make it work, but today, when I was digging through my paper over here, yeah, I have window sheets right there, people, so, <laughs> and then I had a hot flash because I was all flustered. <laughs> it's like, oh, it's just one thing after another, but anyways, um... So I had to finish my blog post today. And then my Anna, you guys, she needs some prayers and well wishes coming from everybody. Um, she has, over the years, had some back problems. Her back will go out, you know, go out. That poor girl, Saturday, we did our family Christmas, and it was at her house, and her back went out Saturday morning. And so today, she messaged me and said, can you please take me to the ER? <laughs> Teresa wants to know if I ever found that window sheet. I did not. I did not find it. It's still, I'm still looking for it. I'm like, I want to know where did it go. I also lost the little hearts and had to stamp and die cut them again. I found those. They're, they're still laying on the floor under my desk. <laughs> but I didn't find the window sheet. <laughs> anyway, so Anna, um, I had to take Anna and drop her off at the ER. And of course you can't go into the ER with them. So that stunk. And then I had to do another Zoom with Dina and Barb because we had to finalize a couple more things. And then I went to the bank to open up a new account for our new subscription service. So we have to get all the little details in line before we can actually unleash this. I'm gonna, I love it. I'm so excited about this. Again, all the details are going to be coming out tomorrow, so just watch for those. I'll post them on my blog. I'll probably send them out in a newsletter. By the way, if you are not on my newsletter list, when I get done with this Facebook Live, on every one of my Facebook Lives, there is, I think, is it? No, on my blog, on every one of my blog posts for Facebook Live, there is a place where you can click to join my newsletter list. You definitely want to be on it. I share some really cool stuff on there some project sheets with um, card ideas and all the dimensions and ingredients and instructions only in my newsletter. So you definitely want to be a part of that. And I'll try to remember to put the link up on um, on Facebook. <gasps> yeah, Connie says she's really excited. I'm really excited too. And so thank you guys for the prayers for Anna. Um, she is absolutely miserable. And I don't know if you guys know this or have dealt with this, but 
what I find, and, and I, I'm not a big, I don't go to the doctor often, right? Like, I'm not abusing any doctor stuff. I'm not a hypochondriac. I don't need that attention. <laughs> I just I just shun it as much as I possibly can. But when you go in there in serious pain, and it is a chronic problem, the last time she had, she had back surgery, okay? But the last time she had back problems was three and a half years ago. But when you go into the ER and you are like, oh my gosh, you have to help me, I can't move, they immediately suspect you of being a drug abuser. Like all you're here for is narcotics. And I think it's so wrong because my Anna is not a drug abuser and she needs some painkillers because she can't move. So anyways, prayers for Anna, please. Um, I don't know even yet what happened, if they actually sent her home or not. I haven't heard back from her, but she is in excruciating pain, and she needs the drugs. <laughs> Give that girl some Vicodin or some Percocet. <laughs> Anywho, um, all right, so what I want to do, I cannot show you the inside of these catalogs, and it is making me crazy. I do not want to get fired. It is against policy to show the inside of these online before they go live. We can mail them out. We can hand them out. We can take them to live classes that we have and give them to people, but we can't show them online. And I almost did last night. And nobody wants me to get fired, right? No. Okay, so my husband needs me to work. He doesn't work. He's retired. He tells me, I'm on a fixed income. You need to go work more. Yeah. So anyways, I have been close to showing them. So I'm going to just talk about what we have going on. I'm going to mirror my screen right now. You guys are going to tell me if there's any weird flashing or if the sound starts breaking up because that's been a problem. I haven't mirrored my screen in a very long time because of the stupid issues. I shouldn't say that. Facebook is going to put me in jail again. Okay, so I just smeared my screen. I'm watching over here to see. I don't want the flashing to happen. That's what the problem was last time. I think we look good. I think we're good, you guys. Yay! So tell me if anything weird starts happening, and I'll flip it back. But um, first of all, we're going to talk about celebration. And with celebration, we always have some type of a... Um, <laughs> Connie says, don't get fired. I won't. Um, we always have some type of a promotion. Like, if you have a Stampin' Up! party, you will um, get all kinds of benefits, okay? So, with $150, and this is a party. If you're offended, please see yourself out. Who's offended? Is somebody offended? Thank you, Becky. I don't know what's happening. I'll have to go back and read those comments. Me. Um, anyways, that threw me off. I lost my train of thought. We got trouble in paradise, people. Um, with a $150 order, you get a 10% rewards, right? And with a $300 order, you get a 12% rewards. When your order reaches $450, 14%. And $600 or more, you get 16%. Um, now, Mary says the room seems dark. It is dark back here, but when I turn my camera around, you're going to be able to see perfectly because I have lights right here. And I know my room isn't right yet, Mary. I need to do some things because um, I talked to my, my guy and um, I don't know what's going on. My lumens aren't right in my lighting or something. So we'll get that fixed, but don't worry about it being dark. We don't, you don't need to see all my flaws. But when it turns around, it'll be nice and bright. So anyways, that's with, with different levels of orders or parties, okay? You get benefits. And when your order or party total reaches $300 during celebration, you, you are going to get this stamp set absolutely free, okay? This is called Punch Party, and it matches a whole bunch of our punches. So it's really cool. Now, if you want to have a party, you can definitely have a catalog party. And um, you can 
contact me. I can do a Facebook party for you. I do a special, I do a Facebook party. Like we have a whole party on a different Facebook group and um, I do some lives on there and I share some videos and I talk about the product and I answer questions and we have door prizes, the whole deal. So it's pretty cool. Um, if you want to do that, just contact me. I'm more than happy to do that. But if you have a party and it reaches $300, you get this for free. Now, if your party reaches $600, you don't get two of them. It's only one per party. Okay? So I just want to make that perfectly clear. All right. Next up, when you join Stampin' Up! And you can join for several different reasons. The most popular reason is to get a discount on your product. Yeah. Thank you. Thank you, Bernice. It is a nice stamp set. It's got 16 different stamps in there. This is a pretty big set. So um, when you join Stampin' Up, you can to do that to get a discount. You can do it to um, earn a little extra money. You can do it to make a business out of it. I love being self-employed. Like, I'm my own boss, right? And um, I talk to myself a lot. We have little meetings. I'm the only one there. <laughs> I, there's a saying, and I can't remember what it is, but it's really funny. And I know you guys are going to tell me what it is. So, um, when you join during celebration, you get all five of these new, brand new designer series papers. And these are our new in colors. Ah! Um, oh, wait, we've got the brights, the subtles, the regals. Oh, the in colors and the neutrals. I'm sorry. These are our new... 6x6 six six designer series papers coming out in the brand new catalog, which doesn't come out until like May or June. And I wanted to see these in colors. Oh, I thought it was new ones. It's not. It's the same ones. So I was mistaken. It's the um, Magenta Madness, the Misty Moonlight, the new colors in colors from this year. So I was thinking we got the new ones. So I'm glad I'm paying attention to my deal here. But anyways, you get all five packs of these. These are $11.50 a piece. So that is extra. And when you join my team, it is $99. There's no ta no shipping. You only pay tax. You get to choose $125 worth of product. Whatever you want. You cannot go over that amount. You're automatically going to get all five packages of this designer series paper. Um... You get to choose $125 worth of product. I think I said that. And there's no shipping. It's free. So, you also get a paper pumpkin coupon, I believe. It's either a coupon or a kit. A paper pumpkin kit. That's another $20 plus value. So, it's a super good deal. If you've never tried it before and you have an order around $100 that you're going to be putting in, I recommend that you join being part of my team is so much fun. We have so many more things going on than what you guys know about with me. Um, we have a team meeting coming up, I think, next week on, I believe it's the 12th. And we do that through Zoom. And it's so much fun. So, Nicole says, how do you get those now? Nicole, are you a demonstrator? Because if you're, if you're a demonstrator, you can go to our demonstrator website and you can click on happening now and then celebration. And you'll find all the details for getting these now as a demonstrator or discount shopper. And that's another neat thing. Stampin' Up! doesn't discriminate. You may think that, well, because I sell product for Stampin' Up! that I get a whole bunch more benefits from them. Um, you get the same benefits as a discount shopper that I get. And of course, the more you do with Stampin' Up! the more you get, but for the most part, we get a discount on everything we order, 20% minimum discount. If you do more, you get a bigger discount. So, next up, we have Celebration. And I'm going to show you guys the papers first because I have been having so much fun with these papers. And let's see, our first paper is the Paper Blooms Designer Series paper. And this is some really big, like, flowers. And let's see if we can just put these down. Here's, whoops. <laughs> I don't want this paper to come off. Here we go. There we go. Here we go. There, it's all double-sided. You get two of each sheet, and it comes in 12 by 12. There we go. And here's, and then here. 
Let's see if I can get that in there, right? And these are the same. Here's the next one. Oh my gosh, I love, love, love these polka dots. And of course the flowers are beautiful too. And then here's the back of the polka dot paper. And oh, there's one more. Let me show it to you. Look at that. So this paper is, oh, there's another one. Hang on, this paper is free, okay? It's free with your $50 order. And that means $50 before tax and shipping. Thank you, Sue. Thank you. I appreciate it. And again, this is called the Paper Blooms Designer Series Paper. So when you place a $50 order, you can get a pack of that for free. You get to choose what you want. Or if you place a $100 order, you can get two packs. With each $50, you qualify for that. Uh, let's see. The other paper that we have is the Oh So Ombre. And if you guys caught me last night, you were able to see this because I used it on my little treat holders. So one side is polka dotted. Oh, let's see if I can, oh, this is tricky. And the other, here, I'll turn half of it over. How about that? <laughs> Maybe that'll work. One side is polka dotted and the other side is just ombre. So it's solid, but it has the ombre, the lighter to the darker. This is absolutely beautiful. I think you get 48 sheets of this. And again, this is a celebration. I don't know where the back is, but this is celebration paper. It's free with a $50 order. I know Cindy says she loves that paper. I love that paper too. So next up we have, I think this paper is my all time favorite flower and field designer series paper. And again, this comes in 12 by 12, but I just happen to have a bunch cut because I am using it on my, let me show you. I'll show you my little calendars. So here comes my little calendars. These are going to be thank you gifts for my December orders. So if you place an order for me in December, you're going to get one of these little calendars. And Oh, these are the same ones. Let me grab a different pattern. <laughs> Hello. I used all the patterns in the paper and they're all just like kind of a little bit different. Not all of them are different. Let's see, let's get that in there right, okay? Here's another one I used to dye the back of it. Oh, and you remember these, right? So anyways, I used this paper on these calendars and I'm going to be sending those out as a thank you card and also a gift that will keep giving all year long. I love that. Okay, so here's our paper. Here's the back. Here's the front and the back. I have these all cut four by five and a quarter so that we can make those calendars out of them. This is so, so pretty, isn't it? I just, every single sheet I love. And it just go, it's bright, it's happy, it just makes me happy. So, that is called the Field and Flower Designer Series Paper. And again, you get that for free with a $50 order. Hi, Kathy Ballard, I'm happy to see you here tonight. Um, next up, we have one more selection of Designer Series Paper. And it's called Berry Delightful Designer Series Paper. And I'm gonna pull this out so I can show it to you. This coordinates with not only a stamp set, let's see, uh, I've got it here somewhere. So I'll show you the stamp set in a minute, but also a bundle and a punch that's in our spring mini catalog. Now, I also wanna let you guys know, you're gonna hear this from me a lot, we are calling our spring catalog, we used to call it the occasions catalog, then we started calling it the spring catalog, and now we are calling it the January through June catalog. And just to shorten that, I'm gonna start calling it the JJ Mini. How's that, you like JJ Mini? And then we'll have the JD Mini, which will be the holiday one from July through December, JD, right? JJ Mini and the JD Mini. So we're gonna have a little bit of Stampin' Up! lingo going on. Hang on, I got one more to show you. Look at, isn't, this is just so, so pretty, right? Now, this is a bundle. So with this one, 
you are going to have to, whoops, that's the wrong one. This is the Berry Blessings. This is the Berry Blessings stamp set and the Berry Delightful Designer Series paper. This is a bundle for celebration. The stamp set has 13 different stamps in it. You will get the paper and the stamp set free with a $100 order. So we have some level one celebration items free with a $50 order. This is a level two. You get both of these items free with a $100 order. So hi, Debbie. I'm glad. I like this paper too. Okay, so, so not only do we have this free during celebration, but if you want to um, pull it up a few notches, we have the Sweet Strawberry stamp set and the... I don't know what this punch is called. Who knows what this is called? This punch that, that goes along with the strawberries and the leaves and the little flowers and the whole deal. So um, this is a bundle together. So you can order this as a bundle. When you order this, you can save 10%. And then it also coordinates with this, which is free. So with your $100 order, you get this for free. I just wanna make sure everybody knows that. All right, next up, I'm gonna show you the stamp sets that are also available during celebration. We have the Darling Donkeys. I love this little set. And when I first saw it, I thought, donkeys? What are you supposed to do with donkeys? But donkeys are very trendy right now. So if you want to make trendy cards, you're going to want yourself some donkeys. And um, you could make up your own words, and they could have something to do with the other name we have for donkeys. <laughs> Just saying. If you like something a little funny. <laughs> Oh yeah, Berry Punch. Thanks, Debbie. That was the Berry Bunch. That makes sense, right? So we have the Darling Donkeys, free with the $50 order. Then we've got this great word set. This is fabulous for your birthdays. Um, let's see. Newsflash, birthdays found to be good for health. Studies show that people who have more birthdays live the longest. <laughs> and I have always been one of these people that I don't care how old I am. I'm just grateful to be alive for another year. Age is ridiculous until things start falling apart. <laughs> it's still ridiculous. Okay, <laughs> Connie. Connie likes my comments on the donkey set. Okay, so that was approaching perfection. Then we have Bouquet Corner. Um, again, free with a $50 order. And then, <gasps> I love the fonts on these. This is called Heal Your Heart. And it's got some um, wishing I could heal your heart. Thank you. Sorry for your loss. I don't know what I'd do without you. I can't promise to always fix your problems, but I can promise you won't ever face them alone. Isn't that sweet? And we're in this together. Beautiful, beautiful fonts. Again, free with the $50 order. And then we have Touch of Ink, and this is beautiful. This has got some watercolor images in it. Those are my all-time favorite kinds of images. I love watercolor images. This one is bigger. This has 17 different stamps in it. We've got some two-step stamping going on. This is free with the $100 order also. So we've got this free with the $100 order. You get both of these. You get this large stamp set free with the $100 order. All the other things are $50 orders, they're free. And when you join my team, which only costs $99, you get this five packs of this designer paper and a whole bunch of other stuff, and you get to be part of my team. And like I've told you guys before, and I know some people don't really think about this, they're like, oh, I don't have time to do that, I don't have time to be a demonstrator. But being part of something bigger is so much fun. And this is your hobby, and it's just like you belong to a club with a bunch of other people that enjoy your hobby. You don't have to sell anything. Believe me, the people that are on my discount shoppers, they don't have any problem staying active <laughs> stamping up, right? Because we're kind of obsessed a little bit, and we're hoarders a little bit. So, there we go. I think I have covered everything. Does anybody have any questions um, about any of these tomorrow. Okay? I think that our website, our online website is going to be down until 3 a.m. out on time. Not just about people, but usually that's what happens. It's down until about 3 a.m. when they get all the news into the system. And um, you can start way out of 
of the JJ Mini, which is this catalog. Now, if you don't know how to demonstrate or you get these catalogs, let me know. I'll drop in the mail to you. But these will be available online, okay? Um, so somebody said I'm breaking up. I'm really sorry. I think what I'm going to do is I'm going to mirror my screen again because that's usually the cause of a lot of problems. I just really don't understand why. Okay. Okay, so you guys let me know if I'm okay now. Um, it'll take a little bit for that to happen. Yeah, it's a little glitchy. Don't worry, I'm just babbling. <laughs> You're not missing much. <laughs> Anyways, this starts tomorrow. And so does Celebration. And when you join my team during Celebration, you get that whole big, huge pack of designer paper. Value just right here. Okay. Oh, let me put all this stuff behind me here. Maybe tonight, if you remind me, I'll show you guys more of my mail. I have so much mail to share with you that um, after last night and all the little glitches, I just really didn't. A lot of the mail. But I have some beautiful mail to share with you. Okay, I'm going to set all this back here. And we're going to stamp. How am I sounding now? Is it okay? So Andy just said it's better now. Okay, Sharon says you're good. Great. I'm glad to hear that. Okay, we're going to flip the camera around. We're going to keep all of our fingers and toes crossed. Ellie doesn't hit the button and disconnect everybody. So, oh, who just said they're hitting the big 7 0? -oh? Debbie did. Oh, Debbie, you don't even seem like you're 50, girlfriend. <laughs> there, you're welcome. Okay, hang tight. Close your eyes if you get motion sickness. We don't want anybody throwing up. There we go. Yeah, this is when everything went wrong last night, ladies and gentlemen. It was not pretty, I'll tell you that. Okay. I think we're good. All right, now I can see your comments over there. Oh, I need to get a new pad up here. This seems to be a lot more relaxed than last night. Let's keep our fingers crossed that it stays that way. I wonder why it's so dark down here. Is anybody, do you guys, are you, oh shoot. Are you guys feeling like it's really dark? Right here? Oh. Mary says, I sound fine, the picture isn't. Look under my host code. And there you have it. There's my window sheet. Oh my lord. <laughs> Good call on that one. Yeah, I was so beyond frustrated last night, you guys. I couldn't find this, and these are so easy to lose. Anyways, <laughs> thanks. That was a great idea. All right, I am going to bring in this beautiful paper. This is in the JJ Mini catalog. And it is called True Love Designer Series Paper. And I can tell you, I think most Stamping Up demonstrators go crazy over black and white paper. And the reason is, is you can do so many cool things with it. Like there's so many things you can do with black and white paper. Some really neat techniques. And it makes our job of showing you all those things easier because they're just so easy. So we've got this beautiful paper, this is the back. We've got this beautiful floral, this is the back. This beautiful floral, this is the back. And now while you can leave this black and white, you can also make it other colors. And that's what we love about it. Isn't this just pretty? Okay, so we're getting into duplicates. Oh, did we see this one yet? I don't think so, there's the stripes. Yeah, this is a lot of paper. Ooh, look at this one. Uh, that one kind of makes your eyes crazy. Oh, we did see this one already. But we're going to be playing with this. And I've got a really cool technique to share with you using this paper tonight. So again, this is called True Love Designer Series Paper. Let me set that right up there. Okay. Here comes all the fun stuff. Okay, I decided to use the Darling Donkeys. And of course, if you're not into donkeys, hang on, I'm looking for the stamp set. If donkeys aren't your thing, you really need to get over that. No, I'm just kidding. 
Everybody has their own thing, right? If you don't like the donkeys, any image about this size will work just fine, but this is free with your $50 order. Okay, we're gonna pull in our layers. Let me put this little bag away. And I've got Stampin' Blends, I've got Calypso Coral and Marvelous, is that what it's called? Magenta Madness. Ooh, we used to have a different magenta color. And that's what I've got here in cardstock too. And don't worry, I'll give you all the dimensions for these. And then I brought in my Wink of Stella and some ribbon to match. So I'll tell you all about that. Now, first things first. I just picked these two colors because I knew I had markers in them. Okay, so that was my reasoning for why I chose these two colors. First thing we're going to do is we're going to bring in our paper trimmer and we're going to do a little scoring. Both of these cards are going to be the same card, they're just different colors. So first of all, we're going to put this in here and we're going to score it at five and a half. This is four and a quarter by 11. We're going to score that at five and a half. The next thing we're going to do is we are going to take this piece and we are going to cut it at three inches. So we're going to cut off three inches. And this is a really neat layout and a great way to make quick and easy cards. I think you're going to love this. Okay, so that's what we've done so far. We're going to do the same thing here. Score this piece, four and a quarter by 11. We're going to score it at five and a half. We're going to cut off three inches. And we're going to keep both of these pieces. Yay! Okay. Let's see. I am going to, we're going to do a little stamping first. And I have to just make sure that I have the right piece here. I've got designer series paper. We're making two cards, so I cut two of everything. These two pieces are, this piece right here is... Mm, Mm, two and a quarter by, hang on, I messed up. Uh, one and a quarter by four. One and three, <laughs> stop. We're gonna start that over again. I cut two pieces because we're making two cards. <laughs> this piece is one and three quarters by two and three quarters. And this piece is one and a quarter by four. And again, we're making two cards, so we have two of these. now. This piece right here is going to go on this little white layer and we're going to stamp over here. So I've got my Memento ink. That's what we use when we were using alcohol markers. And I think I am going to use the cute little donkey that's sitting on his tushy. Nothing like a lazy ass, right? <laughs> I can say that because it's the other word for donkey. Not being obscene. So I'm just going to stamp my little lazy donkey right down there. <laughs> okay, and then I am going to do a hey there, friend. Make sure I get this. Da -da -da. There we go. Love it. And we're going to set that aside because we're going to bring in the other piece for the other card. And we're going to just do a dry fit here and leave that lay on there. And now I'm going to bring in the little donkey that looks like he's having a heck of a time running around, kicking up his heels. And we're going to do that little donkey right there. And then we've got Hee Haw that comes with this one. And these are just going to be kind of all occasion cards. Stamp that right there. And now we can close that. Ooh, you know what? I wasn't going to use this other donkey. There's another donkey in here, but I think I am. So let me grab a block for that one. Hmm. And we'll put this on the inside of our card. So we've got this white piece, by the way, is two and three quarters by four. And then we've got, this is four by five and a quarter and I think I am going to just stamp this little donkey. Yep, right here, just like that. I just want a little bit of them, okay? Kind of cute, right? And I think we'll do the same thing 
for the second card. Maybe I'll stamp it right over here, a little bit higher. Okay, now we're ready to do a little bit of coloring. Oh, I forgot the colors for my donkeys. So, I am going to use Smoky Slate. You could use any of our grays, you could use browns. Donkeys come in all different colors, seriously. I've even seen some people that are coloring the donkeys with just a lighter gray around the outside edge and leaving them white. So you could certainly also do that. I'm gonna grab my color lifter too. So here comes our color lifter. Okay, let's see. I like to, where'd that celebration catalog go? Hang on. Um, yeah. Mm -hmm. Oh, here we go. Oh, and I think I'm going to need, oh, I can use this. Yeah. I'll get a little bit of the petal pink. A little bit of light petal pink. There we go. Now we're ready. Sorry about that, you guys. I completely forgot about that. Okay, I am going to use my dark. I always use my dark first. Color in the little hooves. And I do know my little um, four-legged animal terms for, this is quite like a horse, right? Because I used, you guys know this about me, some of you might be new and not know, I used to raise and train horses when I was a teenager, you know, a kid up to a teenager. We used to, I used to show horses and I was actually ranked in the North Central Wisconsin Horse Association. Like I went to horse shows and I was ranked as one of the top show riders in the state. That's kind of cool, right? Yeah, me and my little Palomino, Arabian Palomino. Oh, he was gorgeous. His name was Shane. He was a beautiful, beautiful Arabian Palomino. And it was just, that was, that was our fun. Every Saturday we got up before dawn, loaded the horses in a horse trailer, and headed to the horse shows. I mean, every Sunday, not Saturday. Um, all the horse shows were held on Sundays that were... Um, part of this uh, North Central Wisconsin Horse Association. And we would head to the horse shows every weekend. It kept me out of trouble. It was a great thing to do. And then of course, when I kind of turned 16 and then there were boys, I kind of quit. <laughs> I know, right? What a dumb butthead. <laughs> boys are dumb. <laughs> no, they're not. I'm just kidding. Where did my lid go? Oh, here it is. Okay, so there's my dark. And now I'm going to bring in my light and we're going to do some blending. And if you're new and you didn't watch me last night, you'll notice that if you just keep coloring over the dark lines that are on, that I've already put on the donkey, this will all blend in and look absolutely amazing and you will be just like a Picasso. You'll be like an artist. You didn't even know you had this much talent dripping from you. <laughs> That's the way I feel. I'm like, oh my lord, look at my color and I look like an artist. And while maybe I am an artist in some fashion, I could never draw this donkey. So let's be real about that. <laughs> but look at, oh, he still looks a little dark right there. Okay, there we go. Look how cute he is. Ah, love it. Okay. Um, I'm going to color this guy in, or girl. There are girl donkeys. I mean, we never had a donkey. We didn't have any mules either, but we did have a wild Mustang. So, so they were pulling the wild Mustangs off the range out west because they were overpopulated. And it was either, you know, catch them and try to give them good homes or kill them. So my mom bought one of the wild mustangs her name was lily and let me tell you that thing was horrendous like she would just as soon bite you as look at you she was so mean and you can't fault the horse well to any big degree because i mean think about it she was yanked off of a free range roaming whatever to be stuck at our house <laughs> The bunch of bratty kids. <laughs> um, yeah, poor Lily. She was she was really horrible. She was really mean. But we treated her good. I mean, we took good care of her. She was fed good, and we never really rode her much because she was such a B 
biatch. <laughs> but she had a good home. <laughs> Anywho, I used um, Light Petal Pink, by the way, to do that. Is anybody still on with me? Oh, yeah, I see people are still here. <laughs> no comments. Okay. Now, if we wanted to, we could put a little ground underneath here. And I'm always kind of big on that, but I know it scares a lot of people. <laughs> Trudy, okay, people are watching me. Good deal. And I think I'm just going to do a little bit of this. Look at that. I did pretty well, right? I'm just going to do a bunch of this. There we go. We got some ground. I like it. Okay. The next thing, you're like, why does she have all these oranges out here? Is this the right orange? Yep, it is. So the reason why I have all the oranges out here and the pinks is because we're going to take these little buggers and we are going to do a little bit of coloring. And I am just going to choose a few of these flowers to color in on the black and white paper. And of course you could do them all different colors. You could actually take a sponge and sponge over this whole thing and make the whole thing black and, you know, magenta madness or whatever. But I'm just going to use my marker to color in a few. Oh my gosh, this is such a vibrant color. Isn't this gorgeous? Thank you, Lisa. Thank you. Lisa says, cute donkey. Thank you very much. So Steve has been playing with the air fryer and he made, um, well, the other day he, he does this thing where he puts, well, he made stuffed chicken breast and he stuffed it with cheese and red and green peppers and onions and I don't know what else was in there, but anyways, yeah, he's quite the little kind of gourmet cookie guy. <laughs> and, um, he... He cooked it, he wrapped it in parchment paper, which is like pretty fancy, right? I have never did anything like that when I was throwing food together <laughs> for the family. I hate to cook, by the way. I'm a baker. I don't like cooking. But anyways, he made this stuffed chicken breast. And while it sounds absolutely delicious, it really didn't taste that good. Like, it wasn't bad. It just tasted like a lot of nothing. And I'm not a big fan of chicken. So it better have some pretty good breading on it or some seasoning. Um, cause we eat a lot of chicken, right? So anyways, tonight he took it and put it in the air fryer and browned it and it was much better. And then he made my favorite, which is green beans. I love me some green beans, but he also put carrots in the air fryer and that didn't go that well. <laughs> they kind of shriveled up more like you were, um, dehydrating them. Not quite sure what you're supposed to do with carrots, but I got this Pampered Chef de, um, air fryer. Look at how cute that is, right? I got this Pampered Chef air fryer for having a party last summer, and I never even used it. Like, I, th this was the first time we used it over the weekend, so it's kind of funny, but I hope he likes it because I... I think that air frying food is going to be a lot healthier, right? And I love me some fried food. I'm the first one in line for a fish fry, I'll tell you that. Lisa knows what I'm talking about. You, you ladies from the Midwest, you know what a good fish fry is. That's what we do on Friday nights around here. So if we could have fish that tastes like it's fried, only it's not, it's air baked, that would make Kelly not gain so much weight over the winter. <laughs> so who gained weight over the holiday season? I have to tell you, me. But um, it wasn't just the holidays. It was coming for a while because I've been kind of eating like a pig and going out to eat a lot, not picking, making good choices. So I figure I need to lose about 10 pounds. I started kind of today. Oh, did you see? I just messed that up. I started today. And I only had a yogurt. Now this is my color lifter, you guys. I'm just gonna bring this in here and see if I can pull that color that I messed up out of there. And I think I did quite well. I don't know how this works, it's like magic. It's pretty cool. But if you buy some Stampin' Blends, make sure you get the color lifter, it's important. Okay, I'm wishing I think that I would have used the lighter color of Calypso Coral on these flowers, because this is getting a little dark. 
when I put it, let's see how it looks. Oh, it's going to look fine with our paper, but I still think I, I would have liked to have used a lighter color. So I'm just picking out some flowers to color here. I'm glad you guys aren't in a hurry tonight because I'm taking my sweet little time. I'm not going to get too cranked up about anything. <laughs> not like last night. That was a little frustrating. I really like had a full blown hot flash. Like I was almost dripping sweat. And I, I noticed that that seems to happen when I get a little agitated. It'll bring on a hot flash. Do you guys have that happen? If you have hot flashes, do you find that they're more likely to happen when you're a little flustered? Okay, look how cool those are. All right, so here we go. Here we go, the moment of truth. All right, um, liquid glue, hang on. What are we drinking tonight, ladies? Mary says COVID plus short days plus, I missed the rest of it. There we go. Plus holidays equals weight gain. You got that right. Lisa had fish fry at the Ice Shack Saturday. Yay, you. Oh, hey, Lisa. Um, I think you're up from Park Falls area, right? I'm pretty sure that I'm talking to the right Lisa. So, this kid that we bear hunt with, Isaac Week, he has been following these YouTubers that do hunting videos and um, they were giving away like this huge giveaway once their um, YouTube subscribe subscriptions hit a hundred thousand and they hit a hundred thousand and Isaac won like I don't even know what he won like ten thousand dollars in hunting equipment or something I'm not sure exactly how much he won but he was the huge winner I was so excited for him and I'm telling that story because I think Lisa lives up by him and I think she may even know his family. But he's one of our, he's like 23. And so it just couldn't have gone to a nicer kid. Oh. Oh, hang on. That was Dina and Barb are calling me and I want them to stop. I can't talk right now. I'm doing a Facebook Live. <laughs> okay. So here we go. We I'm gonna color these in, of course. Um, ugh, gosh, I didn't really want to do it right now, but I'm just gonna color the edges of these guys a little gray. I'm not gonna do a bunch of shading. I'll just color this in and like that, maybe. Okay, and then I'm gonna make this one, this rose, the marvelous magenta. I'll do the other one in, let's see what, how, how this lighter color looks. This is the inside of our cards, remember. I'll do this in the lighter color. Maybe put a little bit on the ears there. Yeah, that looks great. I know I used petal pink on the other ones, but this will be fine. Right? This isn't petal pink. This is Calypso Coral. Okay. Now, if you find that you've used too dark of a color, oh, pfft. You can take your color lifter. Were you guys going, what is she doing? You can take your color lifter and you can get rid of a lot of the color. Like I found that sometimes I want a little lighter pink. You can do that and pull some of that color right out of there. And it really tones it down. So that's another good thing to use your color lifter for. Um, oh, and then I'm just going to kind of mellow out the edges of my gray donkey where I've made this gray. You can do the same thing you would do with a lighter marker and just blend. Blend these edges so they're not so drastic and childish looking. There we go. Okay, look at, look at how cute that looks. So there's our white donkey, right? And I think I need to do a dark tail here. There we go. Okay, I'm gonna leave this donkey white just for time purposes, and now we're gonna put our card together. So here comes our card base. Remember, we scored this at five and a half, and then we cut three inches off of it. Uh, we're gonna do the same thing to this one. I'll have all of these dimensions, you guys, on my blog with still photos and all the ingredients that I used for these cards. Tonight or tomorrow morning. Here comes our magenta rose donkey doodle.
And then, remember this little strip right here? Oh, that's not going to work on this other piece. Oh, dummy, dummy. Okay. This is going to go right here. Okay. So this is just the other side of our black and white paper. We're going to put that right here. Oh my gosh, I love the contrast. It's going to be very cool. So I wrecked this one, and you can't use the back because it bleeds through. So let me grab a different piece here. I think this is the same size it is and I am just going to stamp my little donkey on the right side or the left side instead of the right side because I forgot about the piece that we put down there make sure I don't mess this up there we go okay so I can color him later don't worry I'm not gonna spend all night coloring him so I know you guys probably have other things to do tonight right Maybe not as exciting as this, all this, <laughs> but fun nonetheless, right? Okay, there's our little striped piece right there, and oops, do you see it's hanging off here a little bit? I hate that. Like, I despise stuff like that. It makes me crazy. Here we go. And I see I must have a little black ink on my hands. That's great. Or for the course, right? Okay, no big deal. Now, we're going to take, oh, we've got these two white pieces. And here's where I need your advice. We've got these two white pieces. We are going to run these through an embossing folder, and we're going to put them right on the side of both of these cards. So, what I want to know from you guys is, I want to use one of these little embossing folders. Which one should I use? We've got the one with the butterflies in the meadow. We've got the ones with the um, leafy things on the side. We've got all of these crazy ones, all kinds of patterns. Here's top and bottom. I don't think that one will really work that well. We've got the greenery, and then I don't think this one with the top and bottom, because this piece is a little bit too small for that, right? So, which one do you guys think? Greenery, little details, metal moments on the side, or metal moments over the whole thing? Which one? Doo -doo -doo. Let me know. Did Dina pop in here? I see Lisa was saying hi to Dina. Yay! I can't see Dina in here, but if you're here, Dina, hey. I need some greenery. Somebody's saying greenery. So we got the greenery. Butterfly, leafy one. Okay, we'll do these two. How about that? We'll do one of each. I think that'll be fun. And I'm going to bring in my baby boss. So we've got the big embossing machine and this baby bossing embossing machine. By the way, you guys, this goes on sale starting tomorrow, 60 bucks. It is the cutest little thing. It can stay right on your desk. It doesn't take up hardly any space. It comes with all the plates you need to use it for your things. So I'm going to do the Meadow Moments, and that's what these little embossing folders are made for, is to go in this cute little baby boss. By the way, this is called the Stampin' Emboss, Stampin' Cut and Embossing Machine. We're calling it Baby Boss, and then the bigger one we're calling the Big Boss. Oh, let me see how I do this. I think I need to look at this. I think we don't need that, maybe. We'll see. I don't even know how to use this with an embossing folder. I don't think that's right. Hang on. Maybe just one on top. Let's figure it out, Kelly. Yep, I think that's it. One on top. I don't know if that really worked either. I don't think it did. Oh, you know what? I bet you there's some more plates somewhere. Yep. I am correct in mundo. Okay. Embossing folder. There you go. So we're going to put number three on top. Number one on the bottom, it tells me, and number three on the top. And I love that this is all right here on this platform, right? There we go. Don't worry, we'll figure it out. We're in this together, people. Uh, 
Look how cute that is. Good choice. Love it. Okay, next one. We said greenery, right? We're going to throw this in the greenery. Now, this one is kind of um, a definite pattern, so I want to pretty much, you know, get it in here straight so it doesn't look all like I'm drunk or something. I have not been drinking. <laughs> I don't drink much at all. What did I have over the weekend, though? Anna made me something with Jack Daniels cinnamon-flavored whiskey. And, oh, my Lord, it was good. But I only had one. And then I wanted to go to sleep. <laughs> I'm such a party animal. Look at that. That looks really pretty, too. Okay, so this is a Stampin' Cut and Emboss Machine. Goes on sale to the public tomorrow. $60. If you buy this machine, you can get any one of the Celebration $50 items free. It's pretty simple. Okay. Move that over there. Oops, let me put this plate over here so I don't have another disaster with that. And now we're going to do this. So I am going to take my glue. You know, this would be a really super quick and easy card if I didn't have to do all the coloring. You realize that, right? But sometimes I'm in a coloring mood and sometimes I'm not. And today I'm feeling pretty colory. <laughs> I have been. I did the kangaroo treat things last night too. And I, I did a lot of coloring on there too. So maybe tomorrow. What would you guys like to see me do for a Facebook Live tomorrow? Now barring any problems, you know, like my whole family falls apart or Anna needs to go in for surgery or something like that. I'll keep you updated if things get weird tomorrow. But barring any problems, what would you guys like to see me use tomorrow? I would like to use another celebration item. So if you want to leave me some comments and tell me what you'd like to see me use. Or it could be something out of the mini catalog too. I'm up for that. Here we go with... Oh, before we do this, we're going to take some ribbon. I've got matching ribbon. Of course, Stampin' Up! has all the matchy stuff, right? And I love that. This is the Ornate Garden Ribbon, and you get a roll of, I think it's Old Olive, and then this is Calypso Coral. Let me see if I can get this open without bleeding, because <laughs> I do not want to stab myself with the pokey scissors. There we go. Oh, there we go. Okay. Here we go. All right, I'm going to take just a little piece of that. And have you guys seen this? One of my team members, Debbie, stopped over and gave this to me. And it's very cool. It is a tape dispenser that has a little clip on it. And I think she said she found it at Walmart. And I sent it off with one of my helpers to make some swap cards for me. And she messaged me and said... The tape dispenser is the bomb. And sent me a picture of it clipped on the side of her table. She absolutely loved it. So pretty cool, right? Oh, I love this. This is looking really cute. Let me put it right there. Yeah, no more Amish tape, people. Amish tape is, that's over now. <laughs> and don't get me wrong, I love Amish people, but not their tape. And they didn't make it, so yeah. I'm kind of covering all my little bases here, but anybody going to get cranked out of shape about that? Nah, move on. Okay, right? Here we go. We put a little bit of ribbon on there. I love this. This is coming together. I haven't made this yet, but I'll show you where I got the idea from because it's super cute too. I just thought the layout was going to be perfect for this. And now I'm going to grab some dimensionals. Oh, those are baby ones. I want big ones. There we go. I'm going to grab some dimensionals. Now, remember, this piece is the piece that we cut off of here. So now we're taking it and we're putting it on the front of our card. Isn't that cool? It's those kind of little things that just make me so happy. <laughs> it's like, oh, that's genius. Yeah, I thought so too. So here we go. I've got my little thing up on my screen that tells me it's time to take my pill. Do you guys know I take this hydroxychloroquine for rheumatoid arthritis and it works great. It does not, however, you know that was supposed to be the wonder drug for COVID 
it, no, it doesn't work for that. <laughs> Look at how cute that is. This will be cuter when I get that colored in. Look at how stinking adorable that is. Okay, before I forget, Wink of Stella. I always like to shake it a little bit. And I am going to come in and just color the flowers that I colored with the markers. And that's going to give us just a little bit of glitz. There we go. A little bit of glitz on our colored flowers. And you're not going to be able to see it probably in the camera, but trust me when I tell you, it's pretty cool. It really sticks out. Let me see if I can get it. Oh, can you, can you see it glistening in the light? <gasps> Very cool. Okay, now sometimes the color will bleed onto your marker. You might want to wipe it off before you go to another color. And this, actually the blends, this didn't bleed onto my marker. So I wasn't real sure, but it didn't. Look at how pretty. These are the little elements that you do to your cards to make them just a little bit more special. They're always special. A homemade card is always special, right? Hi, Dan Trout. Dan is my old neighbor. He used to live next door to us before we moved when I was a little kid. So let's see here. There we go. Okay, so now we're going to take the Magenta Madness ribbon and we're going to use that on this one because, of course, it matches. And let me grab my tape here. I got it kind of at an awkward. There we go. Okay. Here we go. I love this in color ribbon. It's a weaved ribbon and it's really soft and very, very subtle is that a word like it manipulates easily yeah I really like it. it ties nice knots the other ribbon was a satin type ribbon this is a cotton ribbon but I really do like it okay and again this is going on our piece that we cut off, three inch piece that we cut off. We're gonna add this layer right to that. Whoops, make sure I'm getting glue on the front. And, and we altered our black and white paper. And again, you could color the whole thing in. You could sponge color on it. If you have a brayer, you could brayer color on it on the designer paper to make it whatever color you want. But I just thought this was really cool. And I'll show you where I got the idea from from a very good stamper. Swaps are starting to arrive, you guys. I did like a million swaps, maybe a million and two. That's what I felt like last week. I was like kicking myself going, why, why, Kelly, why? Why do you do this to yourself? <laughs> so I have lots of ideas to show you. But anyways, um, the swaps are starting to come in. I got my first pack, and that's where I got this idea from. Look at how cute that is. What do you guys think? Aren't they adorable? Okay, so I did want to stamp this. This says the little things you do so well and so often make a big difference to so many people. That is coming from the stamp set called Happy Thoughts. This is one of our million dollar achievers, Jackie Bullheis. And um, this, I think, yeah, I'm pretty sure that's right. Um, and this goes with a whole bunch of our different punches. It fits with those, so. I think it's Jackie's stamp set. Anyways, that's available in the Spring Mini catalog, or the JJ Mini, as we're going to be calling it. So I'm going to ink this up, and let's see if I can get this straight, because at this point, I'll be pretty disappointed if I mess it up. Ooh, very nice. Isn't that pretty? Hee-haw. The little things you do so well and so often make a big difference to so many people. Lovely, lovely. Thank you, card. So... There we go. I hope you guys love this. I love the Wink of Stella on these flowers. It really does a lot of blingy things here. Okay. Um, oh, I was going to show you. 
I've got a couple, well, let me show you this first. This is a swap card, and I don't know who made it because the thing fell out of it, but this is a swap card. This is that beautiful ice cream paper that's in our JJ Mini catalog. And Pauline says she loves the donkeys. Kelly and Dina are two of my most favorite SU ladies to watch. Thank you so much, Pauline. That is very sweet of you. I see Lola's on tonight. She likes the cards. This is where I got the idea for this card. See how they use the designer paper over here? It's a birthday card. A little bit of the ice cream designer series paper here. Now, if you guys are in love with this ice cream bundle, it's a whole suite of products. When that mini catalog goes live tomorrow, you need to order what you want out of there because this is on low inventory already. Like, there's a lot of stuff on low inventory already. So, um, we'll be getting more in. We just don't know when. Chinese New Year usually messes with us pretty good, but it happens every year. So that's where I got the idea for my card from, was from this one. And I think Jan Riordan maybe was the one who made this card. I don't remember. And then I had a couple more donkey cards to share with you guys. Look at how cute this is. Oh, and this is where I got the idea to do just the single flowers. And they used one of our little flower punches here. They used that um, one of our big embossing folders with the little flowers on it but this was really cute and here's another darling donkey card that I thought this is by Linda Pagel look at that newsflash birthdays found to be good for health studies show that people who have more birthdays live the longest and that's true <laughs> Is this got anything on the inside a little bit hey there friend it's your birthday very very cute but yeah Love this. This uses the free celebration paper. This uses the black and white paper. The stamp set is free with the $50 order. So lots of great ideas using the donkeys. Jane wants to know what time can you order tomorrow? I think that ordering should be ready by about 3 a.m. Mountain Time, Jane. That's usually the time frame. I wish I would have checked it before I got on here, but I'm pretty sure it's about 3 a.m. is usually when um, Stampin' Up! has everything loaded into the system and ready for a new publication. So, yeah, don't forget to um, get yourself a color lifter if you're going to order any of the blends. If you don't have a Wink Stella, grab one of those too. And you know when you go to the online store, you can just start typing in the name of the products and it'll come right up. Like, type in Wink, boom, Wink will come up. Don't forget, you guys, I always appreciate your orders. That's how I can keep these free videos coming to you. Here is my blog in the right-hand column or at the bottom of every single blog post. You're going to find an online ordering button. Here's my current host code. If your order is under $150, please use this code. If your order is around $100, please join my team. You will not regret it. Nothing ever happens to you if you can't keep up with things. You will just go inactive and you'll be back on my customer list. So, Dina, I see Dina's on here and she says, we are so awesome. We are awesome. We're awesome because we love what we do. We live, breathe, and eat stamping. And I am just, I feel so blessed to have such good friends, not only in Dina and Barb, but also you guys that I can share my craziness with, right? Because let's be real, I think stampers are just a tad crazy. And I mean that in a good way. So, there we go. Darling donkeys, um, if you guys have any questions, if I missed anything, please let me know. Lisa says, Lisa's on my team. She says, I love being on Kelly's team. It is a lot of fun. And you'll never know unless you try it out. Um, you got to go back and see my comment. Okay, I will. <laughs> Thank you, Judy. I see you say you and Dina are a hoot. Okay, now I am going to be doing some giveaways on the Facebook Lives that I'm doing this week. And again, they're going to be kind of informal. I'm going to try and keep them shorter than tonight. I really wanted to show you guys um, what is happening with celebration starting. So I won't be doing that every night. I can't even find my catalog anymore, but 
Um, I won't continue to do that. We'll just pop on and we'll stamp. But I do plan on being here tomorrow night um, and the next night. What's today? Today is Monday. So Tuesday, Wednesday. I think Wednesday I get to babysit Val. Yay! Ah, I'm so excited. So maybe I'll have her on too. Hmm. Yeah, Jean says she loves to watch Dina and Kelly. And you guys are going to be watching Barb soon. And Barb is a hoot. Barb is very funny. I think she's a little snarky, kind of sarcastic, but in a good way, not in a mean or a nasty way. She's just a lot of fun. You guys are going to love her. Dina and I absolutely adore Barb. So if you're not familiar with Barb, you're going to love Barb too. And Barb is very creative and she's also very business savvy. I have to say that about her. So, oh, Mary says the hot dog stamp set. Ah! Yeah, um, I don't know if I have that one. It is cute though. Maybe I ordered it. I'll have to look. Oh, Bonnie wants me to use the field and flowers for tomorrow's Facebook Live. I'll see what I can come up with. That might be an option. Angie loves the donkeys. <laughs> Judy loves funny snarky. I know, right? <laughs> yeah. Okay, you guys, I am going to get off of here. I have to take some photos of this, these and get them loaded up on my blog and get these ready for my youtubers so um what else do i oh and i have to go talk to steve about we need to get finalize some plans for a little trip so i gotta talk to him about that too and check and see how my anna's doing because i haven't heard from her and that worries me so thank you guys so much for the prayers for anna please keep them coming my way i will give you an update tomorrow um to let you know how she's doing and gosh, I hope I don't have to be a drug dealer and go out and try and find her some painkillers because I don't know anybody with any. No, I won't do that. But I mean, don't you want to do that for your for your kids when they're hurting? Yeah. Okay. So thank you guys so much for joining me, taking a little bit of time out of your night. Spend it with me. I really appreciate it. I'll see you back here tomorrow. I don't know what time. Whatever works into my schedule. That's what I have to do this week. So I got some swaps I need to make. Woo. All right. Take care, you guys. Good night.